Hello. Welcome to the summit of Fat Chad's Tavern. I'm going to show you how to transition your skis into a snowboard so you can enjoy the ride down on one plank, which is my preferred way to go down hills. I prefer to ski up them. First thing you do, take your bindings off. Call them spark bindings. I don't have a first thing I do. I actually just kind of do it aimlessly. Next thing you want to do is take your scraper, which is hopefully in your pocket, and scrape all the board, all the snow off the top of your board. Boom. You really want to get those pucks. You get to get around those pucks because you're going to have to slide your bindings on them. You know what I mean? And then keep that handy. You also want to get around the clips. Those are phantom clips out of designed by a rocket scientist out of Conifer, Colorado. So yeah. There you go. I really like these work gloves for this type of thing. Then I take my skins off. Before I take my skins off, I get the pocket open that I'm gonna put them in. This is my Abbey pocket. Pomoka skins. I don't represent Pomoka skins at the moment. Just in case you guys are listening, I would like free skins. These are the best skins out there. I'd like to do one quick fold. Clear that deep in my Abbey pocket underneath the shovel in case anything happens. I can get my shovel out quickly. Boom. The other Pomoka skin. I think they call it mohair. They're the fastest, least absorbing skins out there. I think they made them pink because we're snowboarders. And boom, there we go. And now, hopefully, you get lucky. These phantom clips are great because you just kind of jam your board together like so. And the way to do it is you look at the clip. If the clip is touching, you got it on. You put your nose and tails on. And then, boom, you find a hard surface like that. Take your binding and put it in the back. And... Bam, put that toe down like this. Bam, put that toe down. I like to have a lot of forward lean. I'm a half pipe rider. I like being aggressive on my heels, so I do that. And then zip that up. Of course, you don't want to lose your shovel or your skins. I like to put my skins in my shovel pocket because they're kind of wet. I don't actually put them back in the bag. The skins have lasted two years, so I'm not stressing on ruining them. They're good skins. I like poles like these, one little clip. You're gonna have to put them on the outside of your bag, but the way I do it is I clip them. Oh, I took this off because of my Verts the other day. Then I clip them through here. This is a the kind bag, thanks to my friend Shane Wallace, the global sales manager, I think. And then you flip that. Tighten that down, make it solid. Put your little this isn't actually an ice axe holder. And then the upper one. See your skis, your poles will be sticking out, but the death spikes are far enough above your head that you won't get killed by the death spikes. Put your backpack on.
And normally I'd put my goggles on, but this is just for show and I'm gonna ride away and then pretend like I'm leaving and come back and turn the camera off. But you also, my base is pretty good, but you also wanna check your base before you drop because a lot of the times, snow ices up on your base. And here we go. These spark linings designed by Will Ritter, Irondale alumni, Irondale, Minnesota High School. Went to school with Steve and Chris Bona. Probably friends with Phil Tokenita as well. And that whole crew. All right, see you guys on the next episode.